070707 what's up guys it's me Lapman back from the dead with another banger, that's right this is Dunderbuds episode 3, after two long years the wait is finally over. So anyway today we are rescuing the Boeing Starliner from the PISS space station and its crew who are stranded in space after it broke because it's Boeing. I'm probably going to suddenly go missing after saying that but anyways, let's get on with it. On an extraterrestrial world slowly spinning into its annihilationist squad of Kerbals have the undesirable job of saving other Kerbals that just get stranded in space and have the audacity to ask Lat to rescue for them, this group is called the Dunderbirds. <laughs> So first we need a command pod and I think this one looks pretty badass then we put a docking port on top and a cargo bay to safely hold the Boeing made, I mean fragile Starliner then a modest amount of fuel to get to the PISS, but underneath this, I'm putting reaction wheels, batteries, mana prop and also an inflatable heat shield to take us safely down through the atmosphere, then a huge ass rocket and we are good to go. Not forgetting to add the balls of course. Off we go up into the sky. The eye eagles among us will notice that I have the Pyralax mod installed which adds lots of trees and grass and stuff. In fact I've installed a bunch of mods so I can make my dick rockets even bigger. As we ascend into space this is a good time to remind you all that the new world order is actually vegan and that vegan aliens will invade and bring about the vegan rapture. So turn vegan right now or else you will be blasted with vegan death rays by the vegan illuminati. The vegan illuminati cancelled KSP2 because they used imagery of capybaras without their vegan consent. Anyway now we are orbiting curb and we can rendezvous with the starliner and rescue its crew. I just need a nice close approach and we can kill relative velocity and maneuver closer to the station. Now the eye eagles among us will see that we have arrived at the piss space station. The eye eagles among us will also have noticed that I forgot to add RCS thrusters to the rescue penis. However that's not a problem as the starliner has some. Because the starliner is haunted by ghosts, I don't want to have to pilot it into the bay, so we will have to steal its thrusters and attach them to the ship. Sadly we don't have any engineers on the rescue penis, although the piss station has arrogant Kerman who we will force to commit the burglary. Now we have RCS we can detach the Starliner and whack it away from the station, then maneuver around it, so we can dock. Okay let's investigate the Starliner thanks to my new favorite mod free IVA. Holy crap the crew has been replaced with Ghost Kerman, Phantom Kerman and Ghoul Kerman. Oh well let's just leave the original crew up here and get back to Kerbin now. So we close the bay doors and burn retrograde to kill our orbital velocity, making sure we are falling into a nice ocean, because we have this inflatable heat shield, it would be a shame not to use it as a dinghy too. It's getting very hot, I don't think we are going to make it, but remember that the fragile Boeing parts are encased within the hard bay doors of the rescue penis. Now we deploy parachutes and the eye eagles among us will see that we have landed. However, we are a long way from the space center. You might sail that, just recover vessel however that requires ships burning fossil fuels, which is not vegan as it is desecrating the corpses of innocent dinosaurs. Luckily we can press Ctrl Alt F12 to open the cheats menu which will allow us to perform a gravity assist from Minmus which takes us past Moho and into the strong gravitational field of Gilly that slingshots us all the way to Pole, then bringing us to whatever this planet is before ending up back in Kerb in orbit. Then we can simply use set position to land us gracefully on the runway back at the KSC with the haunted Starliner in our hold. Another victory for the Dunderbirds. Now, will someone call the vegan ghostbusters? <laughs> 